Live from CBS Studios on Chatabouta.com in New York City, it's the voice of reality television, Robert Galinsky's Reality Wanted. Welcome to Robert Kalinsky's Reality Wanted here at chataboutit.com, energized by CBS. I am Robert Kalinsky, the founder and principal of the New York Reality TV School, and it's going to be a great show. We've got some amazing guests. We've got Jeff Schroeder coming from Big Brother and Amazing Race. We've got uh, casting calls from Wheeler Sussman Productions. Uh, we've got Terrence Noonan, the five-time Emmy-winning producer of the Dr. Oz Show, with us later. Royce Reed from Basketball Wives. Courtney McElwee from Tough Love Couples. More casting calls with Ethan Peterson and Christine Nelson. And we have my co-host, the great veteran of Vivica Fox's Glam Gods, E! Entertainment, The Style Network, Please welcome Jess Zeno. Hello. Hi, Jess. Hi, I'm making these ridiculous faces online, so if you're on chatabouta.com, you can check it out. Good. I'm being a total That's fool. Good. You should be doing that. Did you know um, that I found out some very interesting information today? About? You. What? You got some kind of interesting Ugh. industry news to tell us about what How you're doing. How did you hear about that? Dude, I'm, a, I'm the reality TV guru, they call me. I know everything. How dare you? You know, like, you have to sign a bunch of, like, non-disclosure agreements. I know that. So, but I didn't sign one of them. I, <laughs> yeah, but I did. RealityWanted.com is kicking it up here. Really exciting what's going on at RealityWanted.com. But what's going on with you? See, I tried to, I thought you, you know, you, that I, I could chime in and yeah, spill it, spill exactly, the beans. Exactly. Well, I could tell you, I'll, let's see how much I can tell you. I could tell you that I went to LA this weekend. Yep. I can tell you that someone very close to me. Uh, possibly at uh, theurbangrocer.com, may or may not have shot a pilot this weekend to really? go into development. Excellent. And I can tell you that I will be um, sort of working the helm on that one. Excellent. So that's all I could say. Okay, cool. That's it. That's all. Hey, can I ask you something real quick? Yeah, ask me What quick. happened last week with your guest, Joaquin Ortiz, from my oh show, my God, Vivica did... Vic Lamb God? What happened? <laughs> Jo- Joaquin Ortiz from Glam Gods is the biggest diva, messed up diva I've ever met. I like divas. Yeah. But this she's diva, a diva. Like this diva didn't understand that we call you, we right. put you on hold, and yes. then we introduce you. Oh my god. No, 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 baby, you don't put me on hold. And he hung up a couple <laughs> times. So, whatever. Loco. Now, He's a lovely man are, slash woman. There are so many fans of Jeff Schroeder out there dying to get. Him on the air. Yeah, huge show. It's amazing. Huge. And the, the more you and I talk, the more frustrated Sorry. I get. Sorry, you guys. But just for out. you listening, we're not going to eat into the Jeff Schroeder time. And I think we can cue up our introduction for Jeff now and bring him on the show. Our first guest is a former college running back who hails from the great football state of Chicago. He was the fan favorite on Big Brother 11 and has captivated audiences with his tenacious approach to the amazing race. Please welcome reality TV phenomenon and heartthrob, Jeff Schroeder. (laughs) Hey, Jeff. (laughs) What's up? How are you? So that's what that bio was for, huh? You got it, man. I I, I had to do it, you know. Had to do it. Well, Jeff. you guys got on because I was about to hang up. I don't wait on hold. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. You and, you <laughs> you and, and Jackie uh, Blue. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I just joking. No. You sound hot on the phone. Like, you sound <laughs> hot. Yeah. Uh, maybe it's a little cold, I guess. <laughs> ah, you're hilarious as well. Well, Jeff, you know, uh, the, a lot of the questions that are already streaming and screaming in, and we, Jess and I aren't, Jess Zaino and I really don't have to do much today except field calls. I'm not even going to talk about who you are. We'll let the questions drive the show. But I have to ask one of the key questions that keeps coming up, um, and based on what Jess just said, you know, how do you, and this is Michelle, uh, yeah, Michelle uh, online just asked, how do you um, deal with all of the girls and the women that come up to you? Better yet, how does Jordan deal with all of that? Um, you know what? I would say that the people who do approach me are more, Mike, I guess, I guess it's, it's stupid for, I hate to say like fan base, but I guess, I guess the fans that like me or the people that like me are more middle-aged women. So I guess Jordan's kind of okay with it. I don't really have the Jersey Shore type crowd, you know, 
that really comes up to me, you know, or you're saying, other people have. So you're saying <laughs> the cougars are not the, uh, they're not the target, je- jealous making type. <laughs> Yeah, I get. Yeah, I think so. So it's, it goes a little with Jordan. Believe me, there's some nice cougars that come up, but it uh, it's not it's not the crowd. You know, it's not the young crowd, the 20 year old stuff. You know, I don't right. even think they know who I am. So I appreciate all my fans, but they're just they're cougars. You know what I mean? Right. Wow, Did that's you, breaking news. There, Where's Rashida when you need her? There's a new uh, group out there that trumps the cougars. Have you heard what they're called? What are they called? No. From that TV show now, Sunset, is it Sunset Days or Sunset Nights? Right. Uh, the reality show about the old folks. They call themselves Sabres. <laughs> as, as in Sabertooth Tiger. As in existed oh, when the dinosaurs were yes. around. Yes. Oh, all right. <laughs> it's a joke. But I see, <laughs> I've got a track here. i got a beat here on our uh, audience at Reality Wanted online, and uh, nobody believes, well, half the group says, Cougars, no way. And then somebody else just chimed in, I'm a cougar. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm, but she's only 23. That's oh. not true. Oh, that's not a cougar. we got to go to the telephone because the lines are all bottled up and we got to unbottle them. Let's go to line two to Jess in Massachusetts. Jess, you got a question? Hi. Hi, Hi Jess. Hi. It's just two on Twitter. And my question is, does it bother you that Jordan gets fair attention? Does it bother you, Jeff, that Jordan gets so much attention? Now we're flipping the question. Oh, no, not at all. Uh, you know, uh, she loves it, you know, and she gets a little bit more than me in her home state, so, you know, that's even better with me. You know, I, I appreciate the attention that I get because I get it, you know, here and there, so it's just enough that I appreciate it. But, uh, no, not at all. I don't get jealous. I love when Jordan gets happy when people recognize her, so it works better for me because it puts her in a better mood. You know? so uh, oh, that's, better a, for me. that's a great answer. Put, yeah. puts her in a good mood that puts you in a good mood because right. I was about to I was about to say come on Jeff but no you, you that's good that that means you really like Jordan well yeah yeah <laughs> it's not just for television I really like her when she's in a good mood too so <laughs> <laughs> hey Jess from Massachusetts thanks for calling in thank you we're going to go to Georgia we're going to Ron in Georgia I'm not even going to pre preview his hey, question Jeff. go Jeff, ahead it's Ron I'm Ron Rad. you know um, I have one thing to ask you. You ready? Yeah, hit me, Rob. Can, can the Blackhawks win the Stanley Cup? Come on. That's not even a question. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I've been following your tweets. Are you going to get any more games before the season's over with? I'm going to try, try. I'm going to be out of town this weekend and next, but I'm going to try to sneak in a game if I'm back in town. And, you know, they're going all the way to the Cup, so. Oh, yeah, we're yeah. going. Here comes that the Hawks. That would be amazing. We're gonna take, You're going to go to Chicago? Chicago? Going to Chicago, Ron. Are you going to go to Chicago, or are you talking about that your your team is going to the cup? Oh, me and Chicago's going to the cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm not yeah, going to for, sure, for sure. For sure. Uh, you know, San Jose is going to be tough, but we match up well against them, so it's going to be a great series. Hey, I got one more amazing race. Quick question: um, At the end, with Katie and the lesbians, did you think that was uncalled for? And how? What did you think about that um, whole situation? Oh, I don't know. I'm not one for, um, you know, bitterness, you know. So, right. you know, I guess it wasn't, I don't think it was called for necessarily, especially at that time, maybe off camera, say something if you to say, you know, put your two cents in and just get it out of your system. But right when you just finish the race, you know, I'm sure they were a little depressed that they came in third, and get proud of themselves, and just to come with their legs like that, you know, right in front of everybody, right when they just got done racing was, in my in my eyes, uncalled for. I wouldn't do that, you know. Hey, Ron. Ron, I got a question for you. Okay. You have a radio show, a blog show? Yeah, I have a blog talk radio tell, show. Tell us a about it. reality show. Yeah, tell us. And it's Monday at 7 p.m., and then you can go to other shows. I got three other shows, but if you go to radrealityshow.us, you can find it. Jeff's been on it three times, so you can catch some archives of Jeff. Excellent. Rad Reality. Jeff, take, hey, 